Oh man, I'm so in the zone right now. Oh, I just thought of something, okay? It's, it's, I just realized something. It's like, if you do a constant rhythm pattern, right? Like, it's just constant rhythm pattern. It's a really important thing. It's like, it actually totally, it, it, this relates to playing an, an actual instrument so much, it's fucking ridiculous. Just check it out, okay? Let's get the beat going again. Alright, so, if I do something, this is just like, quarter notes you know it's just like this isn't a rhythm pattern but if you do stuff like that with notes in the scale and go back and forth between chord tones and shit you know you can make a melody just by playing yeah but anyways that's just normal so beyond this if we put in rhythm patterns like like if you do something like that You can hear that the notes, like this note selection of the game, it doesn't, it's not perfect. Like if you were to do this in real life, you could definitely use your note selection knowledge a lot better and have it like go back and forth between notes that you want, like you can have it make a, a melody or whatever using that rhythm pattern, using your note selection properly. You can definitely make it better than the game, you know, that's what I mean. Like. So you can do that, like, but that's, that's just something that I'm saying, right? So, you'll hear, sometimes in Wii Music, it's not what you want, right? But when you're playing randomly, like, when you're just picking random notes and stuff, experimenting while improvising on a real instrument, you'll also find random, you'll also, like, hear notes that you didn't like oh i maybe i shouldn't have done it that way or whatever but it's always about the experimenting and understanding where to go like anyways you have to use your ear a lot while playing in real music and yet you, you should be able to hear what you're playing and maybe if you're experimenting and trying to you know come up with whatever you hear what you're playing and you use what you're hearing about you know you hear you use what you're listening to about what you just played as a way to guide yourself to where you're going you know, like, because, yeah, that's what happens when you're improvising. So, you don't have any choice over the note selection in this game, so you have to use your ear still. Like, you, you, you can't just not use your ear in listening to the pitches. So, what, what I mean here is, um, when you're playing it with a real instrument, you could be locked into certain rhythm phrases because... Like you, you want to, because you're thinking about rhythm phrases and note selection around like at the same time. So you have to like think about that type of stuff. And sometimes maybe you get into a certain, um, certain loop. Like I do that a lot. Uh, get into certain loops of uh, rhythm phrases and stuff like that. I do certain certain phrases and stuff like that the same way, so I can focus on the notes or whatever where I go. And uh, it's a hard thing because you gotta because then. Yeah, you, you gotta let the... What I'm saying here is you gotta let the rhythm phrases influence the note selection and the note selection influence the rhythm phrases while you're improvising in your brain on the fly as you go. So, in this game, you can use your ear to hear the notes that you're playing and if you're doing a certain rhythm phrase over and over and you hear the notes are a certain way that you... It sounded good one time, then the next time it didn't sound the way that you would have liked... If you were playing on a real instrument, because remember before I was saying, 
if you were playing on a real instrument, you can use the same rhythm phrase over and over again and have the note selection be exactly the way you want. So if the note selection isn't exactly the way you want while playing it in this game, it's like you got to use your ear to influence the rhythm phrase and break apart from that phrase, uh, from repeating that phrase over and over again and develop it into something else. But you can't just develop it into something else that's just gibberish like... Like... Like, you can't just do random shit, right? You can't just do that. So you have to, like, have confidence in... You have to get get uh, confidence in your ability to do it. Just, just know that you can do it and have confidence in it. But you also have to be competent. You have to be uh, well-versed. You know, you have to understand what you're doing. So you have to understand it and have an idea of what freight... Like, of what you want to change and stuff like that. So, yeah. It's just... It's really amazing. I just thought, like, how this game made me realize that is what you do and like you take that idea and you, and you got to be caught and it's just being aware of that's what you're doing you know it's just knowing that that's what your brain is doing while you're while it's happening so you can try to do something to influence it and change it you know